Yeah. So holistic wellness is an actual philosophy that someone created. It's based on eight pillars of wellness, which I think is really interesting because it is such a trend right now to say you're holistic or practicing holistic wellness. And a lot of people view that as just alternative yeah, <laughs> or like homeopathic, but holistic wellness is a balance. Like ideally they're all somewhat balanced of emotional, physical, occupational, social, spiritual, intellectual, environmental, and financial wellness, which when you think about it holistically and understand that that is what holistic wellness means, it makes so much more sense than it just being alternative healing. But it's this idea that, okay, maybe you're exercising and running marathons and eating really healthy, but if everything else in your life for, ex for example, maybe your mom is dying, um, you know, is falling apart. It doesn't really matter how physically healthy you are. Like that's not the only thing, but the wellness industrial complex, which is pseudoscience, marketing trends. It's where all of this stuff kind of like combines and is the force that we think of as modern wellness. It encourages us to just focus on your body because it's really easy to say this is what a good body looks like this is what a bad body looks like it's very easy to tap into fear and also it's a lot easier for most people to have a healthy smoothie or do a different workout than to be like what is my spiritual wellness looking like in this moment 